Tranquil, trusting and Tory. They voted Conservative here since the 1930s, but in this rural backwater, many traditional voters are now no longer going with the flow. And it's almost inconceivable, such has been Conservative support here. They backed Brexit by 58%. They have an ageing population, 28% are over 65, and unemployment is low. But this by-election is not just about the policies. This is conservative heartland, the rural agricultural southwest. It should be an easy win for the conservatives. But talking to people on the streets of Tiverton and Homerton today, it's not the policies they're so concerned with. It's the man. Partygate just exemplifies the the attitude that seems to be that rules are for poor people, not for the governing body. Fair enough, give them a fine. That's it. Don't have to be such a big thing and a big, oh, they've done wrong. We need a very strong leader and one that um, will um, get things going, such as Boris Johnson did with the vaccines and all of those issues. You also need someone with um, integrity. And so that's why I haven't decided yet. <laughs> There's residue too from the resignation of their former MP, Neil Parrish. Extremely bad. Watching pornography when he should have been doing something else. He was supposed to be watching tractors, but he, he wasn't watching about tractors. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lump together a whole party based on the acts of one individual, so I'm glad that he's no longer in Parliament. But yeah, um, I feel like the Conservatives is... Um, the main vote for um, like the Brexit supporting people. We asked Labour and the Conservatives to talk to us. Both candidates said they're far too busy today meeting voters to talk to us. Well, busy they might be. The Conservatives have a 24,000 majority, but the Lib Dems are snapping at their heels, and that's making them anxious. At the Lib Dem campaign HQ, foot soldiers have been drafted in and the party faithful are buoyed by an internal poll that puts them level pegging with the Tories. The first thing people tend to want to talk about is, is Boris Johnson as, as Prime Minister. Be people often want to, to talk about issues of a, a lack of honesty and integrity at the top of politics. And it's not about party gate per se, it's more around what that represents. It's more about uh, lies told to Parliament and, uh, and the resignation of ethics advisers, for example. At the last election, just 15% voted for the Lib Dems, 60% went to the Conservatives. Turning this around will be a gargantuan feat for the Liberals. They think they can do it. The voters aren't so sure. Well, what's the alternative? Put it that way. I can't see an alternative at the moment. Um, they're giving Boris a pretty hard time and he doesn't deserve it. By and large, he's doing OK. And that's the question that people here are asking themselves. Is OK enough? Or is Partygate now just water under the bridge? Jeff Moody, GB News. Gosh, it certainly looks very beautiful there, doesn't it? Very beautiful. Uh, look, as Jeff was saying in his report there, we did offer the Conservative and the Labour candidates the opportunity to be interviewed for that report, but they both declined. Uh, there are eight candidates standing in Tiverton and Honiton, and uh, here they are. They are Jordan Donoghue Morgan for the Heritage Party. Andy Fone for Reform UK. Richard Ford for the Liberal Democrats. Helen Herford for the Conservatives. Liz Pohl for Labour. Frankie Ruffalo for the Britain Movement. Ben Walker for UKIP. And Jill Westcott for the Green Party.